Good morning everybody. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how to paint this airbrush beginner friendly power sword. So what you're going to need is some nice thin masking tape. This was just some I got from my local gaming store and we're going to lay this on one end of the sword following along this fuller in the sword here. Now I'll be honest this part is a little bit fiddly but just make sure that you line it up with that fuller and just run that along the sword there like that. When you've got your masking tape lined up you can just use the end of a paintbrush and just run this along your sword to ensure that your masking tape is fully adhered down so you don't get any overspray. So the colours that we're going to use is going to be a base coat of Cantor Blue and then our first highlight is going to be with some Teclis Blue and then our final brightest highlight is going to be with some Lotherm Blue. With our Cantor Blue, we're just going to come in and do a very quick base coat over the sword. So now that we've got our Cantor Blue base coat, this is just going to be a very, very simple power sword. It's going to be one highlight point and one dark point. So our highlight point is going to be the upper end just here and our dark point down here. And then when we do the other side, it will be our light point down here and our dark point up here. So with that in mind, our next colour, which is the Teclis Blue, we're going to spray this from about halfway up towards the tip. And then the final colour, again, about a quarter of the way up towards the tip. Once that brightest stage is done, we can take off the masking tape. And you can see that the we've got that transition there going on from our dark blue to our light blue. So our next step now is to wait until this is fully, fully dry because we have to put the masking tape back onto that side now. And we don't want to be pulling up the paint with the masking tape. So let it dry fully, put your masking tape down, and we're going to repeat the same process, but we're going to just swap the light and dark points. So now that the airbrushing stage is complete on this side, we can take away the masking tape. Just pull this back nice and gently so you don't pull up any of that paint. And here is our actual power sword effect. So the only step left now is to give this an edge highlight. So we're going to take some matte white from the arm painter. And this is just going to be a very quick edge highlight over the entire sword and the fuller in the middle as well. With the edge highlight all complete, here is our finished beginner friendly power sword.